Hi, welcome back to Mrs. O'Gram's Maths. We are taking another look at triangular distribution in this video, but this time using the method of similar triangles. So the first video on this showed you how to use the formula that you get given on your formula sheet. However, you might want to take a different approach and look at this as similar triangles and finding the areas of them. So we're going to use this triangular distribution to talk through these examples. We have the lowest value at 2, the highest value is at 12, and our peak happens at 8. So we can use that information to work out the height of that triangle. Now the previous video showed you how we got to this formula here. Um, I'm just going to go straight to using it. If you want to see where it comes from, it's on the video before this one. But it's basically knowing that the probability of this adds up to 1, so that area of that triangle makes 1. So we can use that to work out what the height of the triangle would need to be. So our 2 over b minus a becomes 2 over 12 minus 2, so that's 2 over 10, or 1 fifth, which equals 0 0.2, so our height is 0 0.2. All right, so let's go with this first question. What is the probability of x being less than or equal to 5? So here we've got a 5. Um, we need to find out what that height is. We could use the formula that you looked at on the previous video, but let's take a look at how we could do this with similar triangles instead. So we have this height here which is 0.2 we need to work out what the height is over here for this smaller triangle um, and we can use the similar triangles to do it so if we have that bigger triangle of there where the height's 0.2 and this base here is 3 oh no it's not 3 sorry it's 6 from 2 up to 8 then we can work out um, the smaller triangle from there so this smaller height here we can see that that base has gone from 2 to 5, so that's now 3. Now, these are similar triangles, so it's a shrink from one to the other. If we go from 6 to 3, we have um, times by 0 0.5 as our scale factor, or divide by 2. Um, so we do the same for 0 0.2. If we apply the, that scale factor of 0 0.5, we get that goes down to 0 0.1. From there we can work out the probability as being the area of this triangle, which is a bit of a skew if one, that should be a right angled triangle, just the same as, as this one was. But anyway, it's a half times a 3 times 0 0.1, which comes to 0 0.15. Right, let's take a look at another one. What about if x was greater than or equal to 9? So I'm just going to mark on the 9. And we've got, again, similar triangles from this big one on the right side to the smaller one on the right side. So we start off with the big one being 0 0.2, and the base across here is 4. That becomes a smaller triangle, where the base is from 9 to 12, so that is 3. So to get from 4 down to 3, we multiply it by 3 divided by 4, so we're timesing by 0.75 as our scale factor here. If we do 0.75 times 0.2, it will give us the um, height of that smaller triangle. 0.2 times 0.175 comes to 0.15. Now that's just coincidence, it happens to be the same as what I chose for up there, but um, it's got nothing to do with that 0.15. This is now the height here is 0.15. So our area of this triangle here will give us the probability we're looking for. So it's half times the base times the height. So that probability comes to 0.225. We're going to do one last example, which is if you get a trapezium. So what if we wanted to know the probability that x was between 6 and 10? So we've got our 6 here up to 10 here. So the first thing we need to do is find those two heights. So the height of this one here, we can use similar triangles again. So on the left hand side, we've got a triangle like this going from 0.2 and a base of 4 down to a triangle that has a base of, oh sorry, not a 4, that one's a 6. So 2 up to 8 is 6. This one's the 4, 2 to 6. So to get from 6 to 4, we would multiply by 2 thirds. So if we do 0.2 times 2 thirds, we get 2 fifteenths. So this height here is 2 fifteenths. Let's do the same on the other side. So we have our triangle starts with a base of 4 from 8 to 12 and a height of 0.2. Going to the smaller triangle 
with a base of 2, so that height will be 0 0.1. So now we're talking about a trapezium looking like this, where we've got a height of 2 fifteenths and 0 0.1. Uh, sorry, 0.2, oh gosh, here we go, 0 0.2 on this side, and then a trapezium on the other side with a height of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 there. So these are the two pieces of um, the triangle we've got. I've picked one going either side of the peak. You have to do it separately and then add them together. And then we've got the gap um, at the bottom here, 6 to 8 is 2, 8 to 10 is also 2 and now we can find the area of a trapezium that's of course done by add the two parallel sides divide it by 2 and multiply by the distance between them so the first one we get an area of a third the second one we get an area of 0 0.3 so our total probability is to add those two together we get a total probability of 0.633 so that's your alternative way of working through triangular distribution using more um, geometrical knowledge. Uh, you might prefer this over the algebraic way of plugging things into the formula that's on your formula sheet. Either one is fine, just make sure you show you're working throughout.